Well, uh, the early edition, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, simply involves us having looked at uh, the, the papers uh, and the mail as well. And, um, <laughs> and so you uh, don't have to. Hey, and uh, Wales on Sunday. <laughs> Wales every day, as far as I'm concerned, but uh, today it's Wales on Sunday. And uh, yeah, picking out some stories that we hope will uh, interest you. MPs' expenses? Yes, oh, bored. Everybody yes. bored. It's all there is, ladies and gentlemen. It's literally all there is uh, in the papers. A big bundle of papers come down and we all go for our papers, what we want. Uh, Marcus will go for the Mail, the Express. Uh, <laughs> Carrie will go for the Times and the Financial Times. And I always find that I have the Sport, the Sun and the Mirror. And uh, that's immediately, we, we, we're better off that way. Um, I will all find lots for the independent as to who will get the driest paper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll dig the stupid little stories out. Marcus goes for the columnists and it works out, you know, what tirade that they're going through. And, and then Carrie usually comes up with the intellectual sort of totty. Sir Peter Vickers, who um, has the Duck Island. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Homeless ducks, of exactly. Well, that's the beauty of today's story, my friend. Because the ducks don't like it. <laughs> How do you always kind of have your, your comedy radar turned on? Or are they, OK, she let's be funny. I, I, I was going to say, I don't have any comedy radar. It's I always there. Oh. You just hear it. it is a concept I've just invented. Beep. It may not be real. Beep. No, it is. Oh, it's, now I'm going to get this for radar. the rest of the festival now. Thanks very much. <laughs> Radar's on. But, I mean, to what extent are you preparing the jokes? To what extent are you just kind of let it happen on, on, on the day? A lot of the stories are just funny intrinsically. So, um, there are, particularly in the tabloids, you can just read a story out sometimes, and that's almost enough. Not quite. You can but tell. You, do, you do sort of see what... There may be something inherently ridiculous in a story, but you know you can't do that story or there may be some, something completely benign that you can, you can make something out of. So I suppose there is comedy mm. radar on. But we each, you know, we all have different, uh, different ways of making what's in the papers funny. You know, uh, my thing is, is usually to be pompous and irritated about them, and the audience seems to like that when I get ahead of steam up and go off on one. Oh, speaking of Hitchens, let's have a look in the mail on Sunday and see what uh, young Peter has to say for himself. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is usually an excellent parade of nutteridge. Uh, <laughs> now, his first, the first thing he's written is just how stupid do they think we are? Which is a very dangerous question if you're Peter Hitchens. <laughs> given that Christopher's the one that got the brain. Um, you're also very good, I think, at pointing out when the papers have said the staggeringly obvious. You know, when they've just stated something two or three times in the same way, Vinny has a, a, an absolutely sort of acutely trained eye for that. And you like all the sexy stories. Yeah, <laughs> pictures of half-naked men stories, <laughs> which is why I like The Guardian so much. See, what happens is I write these down now, and then when I'm actually on stage and trying to gauge the mood of the audience, I think, right, OK, well, we need something a bit lighter or we can do something a bit more heavyweight now. And I look at the list of things across all the top of the pages and just think, Nope. The show is completely improvised, although obviously we have prepared by looking at the papers to pick out the stories which stimulate us. But there isn't really time to, you, you know, to sort of to get a story and go, right, well then I'll say that and then I'll say that and I'll throw it to you and you come back with that and then... What are you starting with? Um, uh, um, good question. The aim of the show originally was that the, the, the columnists and the editors and all the rest of it, the way that pa newspapers are put together, if you read them all every day, and I don't recommend it, uh, you realise you're as far from the truth as you were before you began. Unless you learn you know, to discern it really precisely what's what in the different papers. And I find reading them all and trying to reflect them all in the newspaper that the agendas of the paper are almost more interesting to expose than the individual stories. What's it like being in Hay? I mean, you get a probably better class of heckle here. Any subject you talk about, the world export expert may well be in the room. And, um, <laughs> that's scary. That's a little The bit. export expert. The export expert. <laughs> they come from all over the world. They do. <laughs> um, that, and that, yeah, that, that's, that can be a, a little bit nerve-wracking. That's why we basically say, if anyone can correct us, you know, and um, 
because sometimes we will say the wrong know. thing. Yeah. But it's not exactly your kind of lairy, late and live audience, is it? Let's no. be honest. No, it's not going to be, oh, get your tits out. No, we only had that well, once. Yeah, like that the Daphne du Maurier Literary Festival, <laughs> yeah. actually. Big <laughs> surprise. Come there. Big surprise.